told me that every night has a morning. I console myself with your advice. I resort to the sweet silence of our beautiful memories. This seemingly endless darkness will end. Dawn will appear among the morning fog and we will definitely meet one day. Whatever it is, don't forget me and don't stop praying for me. I'm Anastasia. I was my mother's firstborn, my father's only one, my sister's darling. A fresh flower of his island, an almond tree that has not seen storms, and a serene sea. I was the dream of another the dream of an heir in the capital of a distant world. When does the seed crack? Pushing through the soil? Who tells saffrons that it's time to bloom? When does a child grow up? What does he grow up with? With milk and honey? With the wonderful smells of my sister and the aching hearts of my mother and father. I am Anastasia. In this ancient palace, I saw and knew the sorrow that lurks in the greatest riches of the world, the darkness that lurks in the splendor of the most magnificent jewels, the devil that lurks behind the most beautiful faces and the deep, transparent, pure and great, like the seas, heart that lurks in the most powerful ruler of the world. I'm Anastasia. Then, as before I shunned the raindrop, now I am ready to sacrifice myself. I have passed through anguish, hopelessness and death. My day is worth a lifetime. It passed and reminded me of myself again. I'm coming. The past is now just a faded scarlet rose. Goodbye, child. Goodbye, my past. I got rid of the cocoon, opened my wings. I am ready to pay with my life for love.
I'm Anastasia. For the first time I will greet the firmament. In my veins rivers of fire, in my eyes the radiance of stars, I'm going to be reborn. Wearing the armor woven from love, I armed myself with innocence like a sword. I walk on thorns and smoldering coals. I'm coming. I'm going to change destinies, write the future and leave my name to the world. I was given many names, but I buried them all. From now on, they are all weak to describe me. I chose my own name. I am Kizam. I'm coming. I'm Kizam. I swear that they will not be able to hurt me anymore. No one will be able to hurt me. I will break off the hands that reach out to my loved ones. I am the storm. I am the scorching sun, the freezing frost, the destroying flood. I'm Kizam. This is the first step to a great life, love and power. I have a long way ahead of me. 
full of abysses, seas, and mountains. I'm coming. I'm going, no matter what. I'm Kizam. Let everyone become witnesses earth and heaven, friends and enemies, let everyone hear. I swear, I will achieve such power that as long as this world stands, there will be no sultana more powerful than me. Oh, Lord of my soul. Lord of my heart. My Sultan. My Ahmed. When you leave the palace, I swear my soul leaves my body. I turn into a door with a lost key, a dried up spring, a withered rose. My rose gardens are becoming a desert. When you turn away from me, my state is depressed. Oh Allah, do not separate me from my flame. Don't leave me helpless in the dark. We are the garden of his soul. Don't ruin our soul garden, soul house. Refresh each of our flowers, make it green. Don't let their flower faces wither. Have pity on this garden, Sadik, do not plunge them into sadness. You have many sad, grieving lovers who have given their hearts to you. For God's sake, don't touch my poor, sad heart. Oh, the one who knows about my sorrow and grief. Oh, the one who circles all the pieces of my existence with flame. The world without you is dust, dirt. 
Oh, the light of my gardens. Oh, the soul of my soul. Am I not your body? Where are you going, leaving me? Oh, my sparkling light. Aren't you the light of my eyes? Don't leave my eyes, don't leave. Oh, my lovely Allah. Do not collide my spiritual lights, born of light. Do not break, do not destroy the branches of my heart. O oh Allah, protect them from enemies, provide them with your infinite power. Blind the traitors, don't make them happy, don't have fun. Tyrants hate the light that comes from your face and the sun. Do not fulfill what their hearts dream of. Don't lower us into the darkness. Oh, Allah! Have pity on us, have mercy! Show another sun, another moon in this firmament. Don't leave us in such a helpless position. Whoever of the heirs gets the throne, he undertakes to execute his brothers for the sake of world order. That's how our laws say. There are two paths before each heir either the throne or death. Therefore, every heir grows up with the fear of executioners, with the fear of death, therefore, the enmity between the brothers begins. Therefore, the seeds of hatred are planted. The last exhalation of dozens of heirs babies, children and young men hangs over the throne like a cloud. Finally, only bleeding consciences, wounded hearts and restless souls remain. For the absolute power of the Padisha means the crying of mothers. The bitter crying of mothers who said goodbye to their children without having seen enough of them. It means the last look, which has no replenishment and repetition, means the last embrace. I am Kesim. This is my will. Today is a new day. The tradition of centuries will come to an end. From now on, fear will give way to peace, hatred to love, and sorrow to happiness. The coffins of innocent heirs who have not yet matured will no longer come out of this palace. The heartrending screams and cries of mothers will no longer be heard. I'm Kesem. This is my will. I will ensure that the spilling of blood stops. I will end fratricide. I will open a new path, a new horizon. I will become the leader. I will change the destinies. This is my will. I will keep my word to the late Lord and protect his legacy. I will protect our heirs, 
Sultans and this great state. I am Qasim Sultan. Let everyone hear and know that from now on I am not married to Sultan Ahmed, but to the state. Be patient, Kesem. Do not be interested in the seas, the bottoms of which are clogged with algae. You watch the mountains. If you lose to your longing, don't show it. Feel this endless love with your heart. Do not pay attention to the morning of the night that has unfolded on your heart. You watch the moonlight. Be patient, Kesem. You can't be capable of everything. If they didn't understand you today, they will one day. You wait for that day. If it will be a sword to pierce the heart every breath in separation from children, do not show it. You wait for the day when you return to them. Be patient, Kesem. Turn your face to your Supreme. Turn to the women and children entrusted to you by the Almighty. Turn to the poor people. Heal by binding their wounds. Be patient, Kesem. Be patient so that everything is as deep and eternal as you feel. Be patient, so that everything is to your liking. My son, whose excommunication has made the heavens and the earth cry. Because of your excommunication, the heart is all in blood, and the mind is crying with the soul, there is no one in this world who can replace you. For this reason, while mourning for you, both this world and that one are crying. The wings of Jabrail. Alika Sulayam, and other angels have turned blue, 
All the prophets, all the sacred ones are shedding tears about your death. I have become such a mourning that I have no strength left to utter a word. Otherwise I would have shown everyone what it means to cry and sob. Oh, my son. When you left this world, the state collapsed, the firmament of happiness collapsed. Even happiness began to mourn those who were being tested by separation and death. Oh, holy creature! In the present, you were a hundred worlds that looked like a single person last night. I saw how that world and this one mourned for you. When you fell out of sight, the eyes followed you and left. Thus, the soul was left without eyes and began to bleed. If you wanted me to cry, I would have watered you with tears like rain. Although it's better to let the soul cry secretly, so bleeding. It's not necessary to cry for you, but to shed tears in full, constantly melt with blood and sob with every breath. What a pity, a pity. What a pity that all seeing eyes, full of light and faith, mourn these mortal eyes. Oh, son. Oh, the darting sovereign bird. You flew out like an arrow from a bow. And now the onion is mourning for you. Innocence It turns out that she was the first thing that power took away from me, even when my face, which was in the sacred stream, flowed into her ocean. They say that when you end your life, that's how they remember you. Is this really the case? Is everything that ends bloody, 
catastrophically and sadly freed from the luxury that has been dormant in the past? Every woman combines many names and titles in her life. It turns out that she changes from time to time and becomes different to child, a woman, a mother, and even if she is a wise and lucky slave of the Almighty, she becomes a Sultana. Thank God, I have experienced and survived them all, tried them. Only here, which one will I mention? What title will describe me? What will they say about me centuries later? Innocent, in whose face Sultan Ahmed fell in love and took her from her native island? The beneficent and powerful Valide Sultan, who gave birth to the Ali Osman dynasty of four heirs, who kept the arch of the state on its feet, in whose fund more than 20,000 people were fed. Or a tyrant blinded by ambition, who did not spare even his own children for the sake of rule. Now, in this lasting night, I am like a candle resisting the wind. And I'm all alone. They don't know where my deepest wounds are. Sorrows that incinerate every part of my soul. Only pain and loss remained. They don't know how the silhouettes that I lost one by one tremble in my eyes. Does peace fade from friendship and loyalty like spring flowers? Or does it stay forever? Is there any sense? Ah, where is the secret poet of the soul, a burning candle? Will he write about our condition? And if he does, who will see? Who will hear? Oh, the one who knows my heart, go away, don't hold me by the throat. After all, the heart can burst and then his wounds will spray with blood. Oh, the one who is looking for sedition and mash, come on, get up. Throw your soul into the flames. Take the pieces, rejoicing in your flame. The flame is your son, and now he wants your blood. Come on, get up. Get up to die again and again. Reaching out, death touches my forehead now. Cold. Very cold. My body is freezing, my soul and my heart.
I have risen seven layers above the ground. Hey, people. Hear me. Look, hear me. I am the magnificent Valide, the mother of all the righteous, the holder of titles, the great Valide, the murdered Valide Kesem Sultan. The refreshing rain, the pleasant warmth of spring, the scent of green branches are over. The lights went out. I left. I left the six-way house of the world. Neither on the right, nor on the left, nor in front, nor behind, nor from below, nor from above. The doors closed. I have a long unexplored journey before me. Thank you.